Okay, so this will be a really quick, rough tutorial on how to work on the Wiki data for the site. Uh, first thing you need to do is you need to go and find whatever Wiki you want to work on. Um, so let's say ICBM Wiki, for example. So right now we have the ICBM Wiki. ICBM class, you want to work on that. So you click ICBM Wiki. Now you can, if you have access, edit the Wiki directly out of GitHub. There's nothing against you doing that. Uh, after all, everything is JSON data. You can meta modify the settings. Try to avoid screwing with these settings unless you absolutely have to, as these dictate the categories, which stuff show up on the bottom of the page, and various other things. But you can go into the pages here. Uh, you can work on the index. This is the loading page, the first page you will hit. This is what it looks like in the JSON data. This data is converted to an HTML page that is viewable and works really, really nice. But you can put other things on here. It's a bit rough to read here, but what you can do is you can click edit on the pencil here. And you can sit here and you can edit it in real time and actually go through and everything. And when you're done editing, you can just type down what you changed here and any ex additional comments and you can hit commit changes. Uh, and then uh, if you need to, you can do pull request too. So if you don't have access, you can hit create new bridge and start a pull request. So you can edit everything right in here and uh, we'll merge in the pull request if you don't have access as long as you've met the minimum. The minimum is that it reads well. There's no obvious errors. Uh, this should highlight bracket errors. So if you're missing a bracket or something, it should highlight it well. Should preview changes. Yeah, no changes to see. Um, it should work. If you don't want to use GitHub for this, you can clone it down. So for cloning, what you want to do is you want to come up here and you want to get whatever tool. We're going to use Git Kraken for this. It does not matter what you use. Git Kraken just happens to be what I'm using. For Git Kraken, you want to hit clone. You then want to grab the link. The link is right here. So you hit clone or download. You do not want to download the zip because if you cannot edit it with a download zip, the only thing the zip does for you is it lets you have a archived copy. But you can click this to really quickly select it, or you can click the button here to uh, copy it. If you select it, control C to copy. It's pretty standard on that thing. But you put the URL in here and you pick whatever path you want to put it in. So we're going to just put it somewhere. Um, Let's try a folder that I'm not currently using for anything else. We'll use my desktop. I like using my desktop for these tutorials. So we got our desktop and then it will force the folder name here by default to whatever the name of the system is. You can change it. It doesn't really matter. You can hit clone repository and then you can click open now. And now you can see all the changes in here and you can commit changes via this. Now when you have changes available, so we're going to go ahead and open my desktop here and find the folder. Pull this over here. Yeah, I got a messy desktop. It's uh, you can't quite be a developer without having stuff on your desktop. So we, here's everything. It's the same stuff you sell up on the GitHub repository. Now I can go in here and I can go into the index page here and I can open up with Notepad++. Uh, this is what I prefer to use. You can use anything. Any Notepad editor will work. Any IDE that supports JSON will work. Uh, there's specific stuff out there for JSON, and eventually there will be an editor for working on the Wiki specifically. Uh, so we can go in here and we can do something, for example, like make a new paragraph tag. So we can go down here and go, here's the about, and then we can go down and go and make a new header. Now, might I didn't note the numbers after these are not the type of header. These are actually used to prevent these from duplicating each other. From when it work on JSON data, you cannot have two tags with the same name or they will override when they're being loaded via the JSON system. But what we can do is we can do this. We put like videos down here and then we could have maybe put a video in here. Uh, right now there is not video support, but say for example, we had uh, video support. We can just do something as simple as this. And uh, we could maybe URL and then some link. So we have that available and this will work. And by the way, you can put as many spaces as you want between this and do whatever. As long as you meet the bracket requirements, if you're making an object, it has to be brackets and this is your equivalent to your equal sign. They use colons as equal signs pretty much. So video one equals this object right here. This object contains a URL, that URL equals some link and, and et cetera. Uh, so we, are, we, got, we got to change it here. We can come up to here and there's our change. We can hit stage all files or stage a particular file. Uh, so say, for example, we stage that file and we go, okay, added a video section to index page. You want to be specific about what you did. And you can put notes here as like, uh, needs handling for loading videos. So right now I note that there's still more work that needs to be done. And I hit commit changed. 
You can also pin to the last one. You read the documentation on that before you do it. Uh, so we hit commit changes. Now commit doesn't actually send it to the remote right away. So we hit commit, and then now we can hit push, which will actually send it. You'll see the master versus master of that one, and they'll both match up. The little computer is you. The other one is the remote repository. You want to make sure that they both match each other while you're working, unless you plan to commit several changes at once. Try to push as often as possible if you do have access, because there could be other people working on things. Um, and if you do not have access, I believe this does support pull request, but I have not read the documentation on that. But that's pretty much uh, the legit of working on the Wiki. I'll do more videos here later explaining the nuances about making pages and everything else.